69 Can you do something for me? 69. Can you drop another video for me? Back to back retro episodes be going back, back to back. back You know the hair is kind of growing out so we gotta maximize our powers How did I not see this in the morning? No, 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 no. we're getting rid of this Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, hey, 20 bucks a pop, I can be your bar. We are back with the squad, back home in Cincinnati. The consensus from the comments last video was to keep my boy Angelo Stuber. You guys see a lot of promise, a lot of potential in the German boy himself. So if he blows a coverage assignment, I'm blaming it on you guys. It's y'all's fault, all right? You, you guys wanted to keep him. Today is a big day in franchise history, all right? It is our first draft back from returning. I am so excited to get into the draft, but before we get into the draft, we have filled the empty position of a new defensive coordinator. Definitely the most important staff member on the team. Everybody needs a good defensive coordinator to complement the offense and the offensive genius is all here. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I have brought in a very special man for the job. Farrell Lowry is back in Cincinnati, this time as a staff member. All of a sudden, he's 55. <laughs> His dumb ass stepped in the time machine. All right, he's a scout. See, my, 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 uh... The intuition behind this hiring is pretty simple, guys. Andy Reid was definitely a terrible football player. Bill Belichick, definitely a terrible football player. Every coach that is good in the NFL has never been a good football player. I can't even think of a name on the fly right now that was a good football player. They all suck. They're all fat. They're all overweight. They're all, they're all slow. Which suits the bill, okay? Farrell Lowry. I know he's only two-star right now. He's just getting his career started. And we shall see if he can help Walton, if he can help Stu Bear, help Rice grow into superstar players, all right? Now, the offensive side of the ball, I thought long and hard about keeping Darren Judy because like I said last video, this man does look like the Wizard of Oz. This man looks like he can replace Harry Potter right now. But we got a cash injection from the owners. We got Saudi owners in Cincinnati, all right? We have the oil money. They came and gave your boy some CC. So you know what? Let's upgrade the stadium real quick. Training facilities. Let's get some ice bats in the building. And rehab facilities as well. You know what I'm saying? We need some new masseuses. But more importantly, the money is supposed to be used towards a new offensive coordinator. So let's take a look at the staff hires right here who we got we got Demby, Di, Goodson and Honey I see you looking at me I'm ready to go in you if you want me Sexy. weird buddy you're weird Renee Beasley oh my god I am in love she has no traits she doesn't need a trick. 44 years of age. I am 42. Older woman. I love it. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna sign Renee Beasley, all right? And she knows an offensive scheme very well. Five-star offensive coordinator. Welcome to the team, Renee Beasley. Now it is time for the draft. Let's take a look at the roster here. We have three open roster spots here. $58 million available in salary cap. We need a playmaker, ladies and gentlemen. We need a running back. We need somebody with big play ability like the kangaroo. All right, we need somebody who can catch the ball at the backfield. Need linebackers to the pylon. Make sharp cuts. Hurdle over defenders. We need all that, all right? We also might need an edge rusher. Now, I, I don't have the best luck with picking D lineman in the first round. As you can see... Uh, with this nugget head right here, Hakeem Walton. He had one sack his entire year last year. One. Clearly, he's an interior D lineman, all right? He's a run stuffer, so we're going to need an edge rusher. We're going to need some speed. Some speed. Some speed. Some this. You're going to need some hand fighting. Somebody who can bend, all right? Pause. And then finally, I want to draft a kicker as well, okay? Possibly in the second round, which doesn't make any sense, all right? Here we go. I am excited. The year seven NFL draft starts now. Oh. Missed. 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 Oh, missed. You gave me one four star. And it's a whole lineman. <laughs> No this, no, this might be one of the worst draft boards I've ever seen in my life. But we have five running backs on the board. All right, here we go, man. See, I, uh, 
I knew it was a weak draft class, matter of fact. If I could trade down in this game, I would've. You know what I'm saying? saying? But I've been sending my scouts to the combine, all right? I've been sending my scouts to pro days. So we already have a good idea of these players right here. Dimitri Wartan. Good, good catching, good strength, and good speed. Okay, okay, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Bad stamina, but we can work on that. Now, if you guys aren't around on this channel, we don't do scout player around here anymore. I think it kind of ruins the draft, takes the excitement out of it. So we're not gonna scout the player because I I've already done my scout. How do you think I hired Lowry? You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I saw him at the combine. Thomas, Deane Thomas. Oh, this guy looks like a power back. This guy works the weight room, man. Deane Thomas. Or is it Dean? Dean? Deanie? Deanie Thomas? I don't know how I feel about a man being called Deanie. Like, there's nothing wrong with the name. It's just like Dean. You know, you know what I mean? Like, like look at little Deanie over there. L look at little Deanie running around. Like, I, I don't know. Highest Boyd. Okay, this is a stamina guy. Can't catch the ball, though. I I'm not a big fan. I like my running backs to be able to catch the ball out of the backfield. Highest Boyd. We have Joseph. Carry on Joseph. Looks like a speed demon. Carry on Joseph. Hmm, interesting. I don't like this guy. He's got like an attitude. He, he, he's got character issues. Trinity Sigler. Oh, his stats are pretty good though. Wait a minute. We also have Avery, who is, no, he's a D lineman. See, look, I can tell by the speed. So we got Wharton, Deanie Thomas, Tyus Boyd, Carrion Joseph, and Trinity Sigler. Oh God. Okay, I, uh, all right. I think I've made my decision. With the first pick in the year seven draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Deanie Thomas, the rookie running back. There he is. I'm just praying he has a better potential for catching. Please. Oh, no. He has plus one catching, but that's because he's exceptional. He's not going to be exceptional for too long here. Has room to grow with speed. Does not have room to grow with stamina. Oh, did I mess this one up? Deanie, Deanie. Well, why did I take a guy named Deanie? Name is Deanie. Okay, hold on. Wharton is still on the board, though. I think two running backs with two first one. That makes no sense. I'm like Mike Ditka. But I'm like, just dead. I mean, do I have any other options? I could take Vic, but looks like there's no edge rushers in this draft though. Every D lineman speed in this draft is just terrible. Yeah, I might take a second running back here. Okay, don't mess this up two times in a row. With our second first round pick in the year seven draft, the Cincinnati Bengals are proud to select Dimitri. Wahartan, rookie running back. Two running backs in the first round. This is Dini Thomas' stats right here. Okay, three and a half star potential. Please tell me Dimitri Wahartan is the man. Four and a half star potential, there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Oh my God, he's got room to grow with everything except for catching. His catching's already amazing. Dimitri Wahartan, is he him? Is it him, E3? I max out his strength, man. This guy's the Greek god, man. Dimitri Wahartan, all right, okay. Dini Thomas, get the hell out of here. Second round now we have three picks swain is still here the only four-star prospect teton swain listen i i i, I don't what did he just say i've never picked a good old lineman i've never seen a good old lineman in my life on this game but what i like about teton swain is like when i saw him at the combine right when i saw i, I saw him, I, I saw him do one of these and i was like whoa teton teton swain Valued as a first. So we're taking a first round prospect here. But we also, we need an edge rusher, man. Terrell Laird. He could be the guy. And, and Jamel Inku. We could also take a young linebacker because Camp is retiring after this year. To replace him as well. That could be also a need. So we could take Tate. Scotty Tate. All right. He's got a Bugatti. With the second round pick in the year seven draft. The Cincinnati Bengals are proud to select Teto. Swing! Hit on swing. Let's take a look. Four and a half star potential. He's got room for go for stamina. I love it. He's already four star. He's a plug and play kind of guy. He's ready for the NFL day one. All right. Hit on swing. He's in the building. Now, we do need to save room for a kicker. Are we sold with this defense, man? I do want to take a look at one of these edge rushers. Scotty Tate, he could be an outside linebacker. You know what I mean? Like, we could play a 5 2. Because that's the thing with Lowry, right? Is Lowry, he, he's got different schemes. He's, he didn't just come here with one package. All right. So we draft Scotty Tate, you know what I mean? He could be like a like a Khalil Mack, right? Like like an edge rusher. Or we could just close it out with a kicker here. Second round, Rashad definitely uh, does not look like a Rashad, but at Deniji, he's got good kick range. With our last draft pick in the year seven draft, the Cincinnati Bengals are proud to select 
Scotty Tate out of Romania. Three linebacker set. He can rotate to linebacker once camp retires. He's going to be playing as an edge rusher this year. We're hoping for a lot of sack production out of him. Let's take a look at his stats right here. He's got four-star potential. No room to grow his speed, but it's okay. He's already got good enough speed for a linebacker, but he's got room to grow for stamina, tackling, and strength. The only concern with him is, you know, he just he comes from a very wealthy family. You know, is he hungry? Does he have that desire, that fire and desire in his eyes to become great, to become unique, to become special? How special is Scotty Tate? We do not know. The roster is full, guys, so we're going to trade the rest of our picks here, and the draft is over. I promise y'all I would get a kicker, so you guys got to let me know. Out of Swain, Tate, Cam, who do I get rid of for a kicker? Because I... I, I just need more roster spots, man. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments. Next week, we start our season against the Tennessee Titans. At home at the Paul Brown Stadium. Heffy, your mom is back in the building. Back where he started. B-Hall's return as well. I'll see y'all with some more Bengals football.